Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, to recap what we did on the last tutorial video is we created these floors here, as you can see, in our box. And so, in this tutorial we will now be making the windows of so, so that we can get some outside light into the building. Okay, so how we do this, first we're gonna go ahead and just open up the blueprints for the box. Oops. <laughs> okay, um, go to the construction strip, and you can see that uh, the way that, or the method that we did last time, is we took the room height, uh, which d we decided uh, each room is going to be four of these cubes. We took the modulus of that, and we said that if, when it's equal to zero, to go ahead and mark that as true, which creates the floor. Um, in this one, we're actually going to do a very similar method, because uh, if you look at our box, we, or it, actually if we go into the room, we can see that our, the way that we're going to do our windows is we're actually going to put the window in one solid line straight through the middle of the room. Um, so to do that, we essentially need to take half of the current room height and say that this is our new thing. Now there's two other components which we will uh, we will tackle those problems while we're doing this. So here we go. Uh, to make this easy, I'm just going to copy and paste this. There. there. And instead of the room height, we're going to do the room height divided by 2. So that we get half of the room height. So instead of it appearing every 4, it will appear every 2 or if we decide to change this value, we don't have to go ahead and play with this a secondary value. It will automatically accustom for the variable that's here. Uh, just as before, we're, de we're dealing with the z-axis, so we drag this over here. Um, and so this new, uh, this new if statement is saying that um, if the room height divided by 2 is equal to 0, or for the modulus. So if that's true, that means that there's a window that places there. If it's false, then no window and just continue on its business. Um, so for the false line, we can go here um, because uh, if you remember over here, this collapse graph is the one that actually got the hollow areas. So if it's false, just continue what it's doing. If it's true, we actually want to start another conditional here. Actually, first I want to show you what it looks like if we just say, um, like for example, if true, throw it in there. You'll see that the rooms get much smaller. So instead of every four, it should appear every two. drag that here. There we go. See that how it cleaves the room in half, which is good. This is what we want to do. Now to change, let's remove this. To change it instead of the floor, we're actually going to have to add another block uh, over here. So jump to our viewports. We're going to be adding another one. So let's just copy and paste what we have here to keep um, the actual static mesh the same, and we're going to be changing the, uh, the material to make it a translucent material. Now luckily when we started this project, uh, we imported some of the basic materials over here, and one of them is glass. So you can just go ahead and select that, which will make a translucent block. And then we can call this differently. Let's call it window. Now that we have this, go back to the construction script, um, copy this, the add instance, over here, and then drag in our window component, attach that in there. So now we have a different type of block to be used. And the place that we're going to put it in is where this is calculated. So this goes 
over here, um, which is the transform. Um, and then we're, at the moment, we're going to leave this alone uh, because there's one more thing that we need to do. Uh, if you follow the timeline, or I guess the this little white line, um, first it goes and it tests the floor. If the floor is false, so if it's in the in-between space, we go and test for the windows. If this is true, we need to go ahead and create the window, but not quite yet, because first we need to make sure that it's also a hollow space, too. So we're going to copy and paste this if statement, pass it through here, and attach the hollow once again to this conditional and then plug this true in to the add instance. If it's false, you can leave that alone. So what this is essentially saying for the window is that if the window falls in a two modulus and it's a hollow to make a window block. And if it's false in the first statement to just go to the next one, which is make sure it's hollow. So we go over here and now we look, and we should find, there we go. Uh, also, the, the reason why it didn't immediately appear is because when you're moving, when you're moving this around, it will actually change the, um, the construction script. It'll, it'll recompile it every single time you move like this instance or you add it to the environment. So now you can see our buildings have uh, these windows and yeah it uh, just goes around. Now if you want like square windows instead of just one solid line going around um, we're, we're actually not going to be doing it into this tutorial however if you do want to do something like that notice that in the beginning of the tutorial series we had the X, Y, and Z axis that we were playing with. If you want to do that, you simply have to modify the uh, the modulus and instead of um, passing it through to the Z, you can pass it through the X and the Y. Um, the next tutorial will be doing a little bit of that because the next one is going to be um, getting a doorway situated and um, uh, yeah, basically just putting a door there so that you can enter the building and it's not just this solid block with windows anymore. Alright, well, uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.